Thank you to our hosts, and thank you everyone for coming. These forums can be a labor of love, but our community really needs involved people like you. This was a tough week. Uh, my father and my stepfather-in-law was in the ER today, and it really reminded me of why Frank and I live here, so that we can be closer to our parents and our family and not just for the free babysitting, I promise. Um, but helping our parents and my pro bono clients as they age has really impressed upon me how important it is that we have good services like healthcare access and transportation so that all of us can grow old in place. And when we started farming, we had a dream that someday we would pass our farm on to our kids. But we ask ourselves, what will it be like here in a few decades? Farming and producing food brings to the forefront environmental issues that need our immediate attention. And running two public interest legal groups that I founded to offer free legal services to the community makes me realize that there's a gap in services for veterans, seniors, transportation, consumer fraud, low income, and support for women and kids, to name a few. But most importantly, and the reason why I'm in this race, is because we're failing our kids on education. As I mentioned, my childhood school and my own children's school were closed, both due to funding issues. We need to address this on the state level. We need to get single-payer health care in place to also free up funds that we can redirect to education. Our schools need to be excellent, and we need to have good jobs and an exciting arts and culture environment so that our kids will want to stay here or be able to return and find good jobs. This campaign's been fun, but it hasn't been easy. I've been told I don't have the right shoes for the job. I've been told I don't look strong enough to be a farmer. I've been told I have no business on the campaign trail with two young kids at home. But as a lawyer committed to social justice and our constitutional rights, with years of training and working on complicated, high-stakes negotiations and cases, and being the only candidate here who's worked in the State House before, I have a unique set of skills to offer you. Vote for a doctor in the House.